Hey everyone, Chef Patrick here with another segment of Latin Soups and Stews. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick version of Cuban black bean soup. Yeah, let's get started. Welcome or welcome back to our channel where we introduce to some and highlight to others the wonderful world of Latin and Hispanic cuisine. Now usually with Cuban black bean soup, it's kind of a process because you have to soak the dry beans overnight. Then you have to cook them for about a couple hours to get them nice and tender. You can use a pressure cooker to speed up the results or you can just use canned black beans that have already been cooked. But the problem with using the canned variety is that you tend to lose some of that flavor and intensity that is synonymous with Cuban black bean soup. But don't you worry. In this version, we're gonna be adding boldness and depth of flavor, and it all starts with the spices. For this recipe, we're adding cumin and coriander spices, but we're using the whole seeds and toasting them in a pan to release its fragrant qualities. I'm adding a tablespoon each in a hot pan and swirling it around to ensure that it will toast and not burn. Using a spice grinder that's dedicated to spices only, grind the seeds into a fine powder. This is going to help give some boldness and pungency to our Cuban black bean soup. Let's start the soup. In a large pot or Dutch oven set over medium high heat, add two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're adding another flavor component, pork neck bones. These neck bones will give our soup a rich, deep flavor in a short amount of time. Sear the neck bones and brown on both sides. Now add aromatic vegetables like onions, green and red bell pepper, sliced fresh garlic, and bay leaves. Saute for three minutes. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Then add the round cumin and coriander. Mix to thoroughly combine and to release its beautiful fragrance. Now we're adding the canned black beans as well as some homemade chicken stock that I made in a pressure cooker. Mix to combine, cover and cook for 30 minutes. After which the pork bones have flavored the broth and the spices have melted. I'm removing the neck bones and bay leaves because we're going to be pureeing this mixture. I'm removing about two cups of the whole beans and pureeing the remaining that's left in the pot. I'm adding the pork neck bones back into the pot and the reserved beans, as well as some fresh chopped oregano. And final seasonings of salt and pepper. Simmer for an additional 30 minutes. Now we're ready to serve. Pour this beautiful black bean soup into a bowl. Then garnish with sour cream, diced onions and peppers, and chopped cilantro. You can serve with rice or big old tostones. Yeah, I'm about to get my dunk on. There you have it, Cuban black bean soup. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, smash that like button and click the subscribe so you can stay up to date on all new content. And remember, food can look good, but if it doesn't taste good, then your cooking is in vain. So make it sabroso.